we would like to build on shopper marketing because we believe that uh, many of our clients uh, expect us to be competent and closer to the shopper uh, just before the final decision in front of the shelf, before people grab the product and take it off the shelf. Um, we have huge uh, experience in doing shopper marketing and uh, we've done a great job in this area. I think we can strengthen it and add value to uh, our existing clients by extending this competence across all markets in Asia Pacific and this is what uh, we would like to build on definitely. The other area of focus for us will be digital. Um, we think that uh, we have excellent uh, hubs uh, in Singapore, in Tokyo, from where we could expand and build uh, digital capability for Liebenet across Asia Pacific. Um, so these are the two competences that we'd like to uh, develop and build on, um, hoping that this will add more value and win more business for us from existing clients and hopefully attract prospects to us. And we will also actively go to the market and pitch. Um, but we'll pitch strategically, as I mentioned before. Uh, we are very interested about winning in telecommunication business, uh, and we are very interested in winning in retail business. I believe that if um, we combine shopper expertise with knowledge of retail business, and if we combine digital with telecommunication business, we can create some uh, superior value that will be unique and very attractive for prospects and clients. Um, I think that uh, it's extremely important for modern agency to think this way. Uh, yes, we have to do classical communication, classical advertising, but we have to get stronger in these areas and think in an integrated way on how we communicate to people. So uh, our focus will be on growth through these areas and I would like us to build on all the elements and base we have created in Asia Pacific over years. We are a strong creative network, we have very talented people. If we add these competence, I think competences, I think we will be even stronger. Um, and of course we will build on our humankind philosophy that will strengthen us across uh, all markets in this part of the world. Philosophy that uh, makes us believe that creativity has the power to transform human behavior. And this business is not rocket science. We believe that only two things really matter in this business is people and their behavior. Uh, that's why when clients come to us, we always uh, look at the problem they bring us and usually it's illustrated by a set of numbers with sales results or maybe market share shrinking. Then we look behind these numbers, trying to understand behavior, trying to understand human insight. And then we come up with solutions from there, uh, addressing people through communication that we hope can impact the way they think, feel, and ultimately behave. Um, so uh, that is the humankind thinking we, uh, we want to embrace and uh, we want to build humankind brands that are driven by true human purpose and we would like to help our clients to create purpose for each of the brand that we are responsible for. Uh, that will not be positioning, that will not be a benefit, that will be purpose. Uh, that answers um, question what the brand exists for. Let me tell you honestly, um, when Tom Bernardin, our global CEO, called me with the proposition of moving to Asia and taking over this region, um, it took me no more than probably two minutes to say yes. That was the easiest business decision I ever made, it was like this. Uh, I think Asia Pacific is the most interesting part of the world today. Um, there are biggest opportunities, most exciting challenges that I would like to meet uh, here. And uh, I'm really excited, I'm really optimistic. Uh, I'm impressed with um, how vibrant is this region. Um, I like cross-cultural uh, markets and, and teams and, and, and the situation I uh, face here. I believe that um, cross-cultural teams are more creative than, than other teams because um, uh, they bring so many different cultures and experiences to the play 
that some new fresh things usually come out of it more often than in homogeneous business environment that I experienced in the past. So I'm very excited. And that made me feel like uh, that's something what I haven't expected. You know, I, when you are positive and optimistic, you don't think about these things. But it happened, so I experienced that and, and went through this emotionally. And then, most recently, uh, we lost Yasmin Ahmed in Malaysia. So um, I couldn't probably expect more emotional and more intensive introduction to this part of the world that I really went through the last five, six weeks. But having said that, um, it's all life, you know, and um, I'm happy to be here. And I know that with these people who uh, we have in the company, we'll manage and uh, we'll be together, you know, whether we are in trouble or uh, whether we are in winning or uh, we are in tough or uh, whatever kind of situation. So I'm confident because I'm surrounded with great talented Burnettes in, in many countries. So. Um, that's it, that's my beginning and I, I, I still have um, a lot of optimism. The, 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 the creativity, the, the quality of creative product is just amazing in Asia Pacific. I mean, comparing to Central Eastern Europe, this region is, is just spectacular. So I'm impressed by creativity of this region that I believe comes from also cross-cultural creative uh, teams and the environment that is, that is really embracing great creativity. So I would say um, uh, I'm quite impressed with what I see here and uh, I'm quite impressed by the quality of thinking and by the um, maturity of some clients I met so far. So uh, it's a challenging um, and demanding market to be in but um, that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs>